This video demonstrates configuring, running and interacting with the Echo Client example that comes with the FreeRTOS IP stack. Now I already have the example running on the bench in front of me and before I built it I set the constants that you can see are highlighted on the screen there. They tell the Echo clients the IP address of the server they're going to talk to. How you do that and how you can set up your own Echo server is all described on the FreeRTOS Plus website. Now I'm going to connect with the command console, the FreeRTOS command console. I'm using TerraTerm here, which is just a dumb terminal. You can use any dumb terminal. And in this case, I'm using a virtual COM port, which happens to be enumerated as COM11. It's very likely to be a different port number on your machine. I just hit enter to get the command prompt. And as always with the FreeRTOS command console, if you type help, you'll get a list of all the commands that have been registered. Now I don't have the Ethernet cable plugged in yet, so I'm going to type ip-config to get the network configuration, the address configuration. And because the Ethernet cable is not plugged in, at the moment we don't have an IP address assigned, and the gateway and DNS are still at their default addresses, which will get used if the DHCP server cannot be contacted after the Ethernet cable has been plugged in. Now you may have heard me connect the Ethernet cable in the background, so if I hit enter there, we get, um, by the way, hitting enter just reruns the last command, so that's ip-config, and you can see there that we have the IP address gateway and DNS server addresses assigned to us now from the DHCP server. And we can demonstrate the gateway and DNS functionality by typing ping www.freeartos.org or any other URL. The DNS resolver has resolved it to an IP address of 195.8661 and we've sent a ping out with identifier 6573 and received the reply with the same identifier. Now in the background of course we have the Echo clients talking away to the Echo server and we can demonstrate that using a packet sniff program, in this case I'm using Wireshark which is one of the most popular. So if I set that running just scroll this way a little bit and you can see all the traffic going out here scroll back again and you can see echo replies and echo requests going out the echo requests coming from the FreeRTOS target and the echo replies from the echo server which in this case happens to be running on my laptop now I want to come back to the command console we'll type help again because there's another command here I want to demonstrate and that is IP debug stats now in this demonstration I've programmed that command just to generate a bit of statistics information which uses the IP stack trace macros. Now you can define the macros to do whatever you want. One thing of interest here is the count of packets transmitted. You can see they're already 12,700. That's because the Echo clients are just sending out lots and lots of requests. Again, I can hit enter to rerun the last command and you can see that the number of packets has gone up already massively to 15,000 in just the time it's taken me to say that. Now a couple of the standard demonstration commands that come with the FreeRTOS command console are task stats where we can see all the tasks that are running and their priority and stack usage etc. And of interest to us now is run time stats and that shows us how much CPU time each task in the system is consuming. Now as I said in this example all we're doing is sending out loads and loads of network traffic. So the UDP IP task that you can see there is the task that manages the FreeRTOS IP stack and that's using 29% because all this demonstration is doing is generating lots and lots of traffic. That MAC task there, by the way, is a deferred interrupt handler, which is handling all the interrupts generated by the Ethernet hardware. Now, the other two tasks I want to show you here are Echo Zero, which is using 9%. That is an Echo client which is communicating using the standard sockets interface. And Echo Client 1, which is using 8%, which is communicating using the zero copy sockets interface. And that concludes this very brief demonstration.